Massive potholes that just are more like craters. They aren't getting fixed in one south side neighborhood anytime soon. The problem, confusion over who actually owns the road. It's a story we first brought you yesterday on the news at 5 and 6. RTV6's Paris Lubell is back out in the neighborhood trying to figure out what happens next. These potholes are still bad and there's no signs that they're getting fixed anytime soon. That's because there's questions about who actually owns this piece of road and it's not the city. Those potholes are like small craters. Oh, they're bad. They're bad. We came back on Friday into the Green Leah Acres neighborhood trying to figure out who's responsible for getting these potholes fixed. On Thursday, the city told us the road is privately owned by the Neighborhood Association. The problem? There was no HOA. You've never heard of an no, HOA? not at all. Not, that topic was never even brought up. The residents say there's no HOA in the neighborhood. Since 2008, at least since I bought it, there's not been an HOA. We've never had an HOA. And uh, yeah, as far as I know, there's never been one since the beginning of the, the construction of the neighborhood. The realtor brought me back here. She said there was no longer an HOA. According to city property records, the property in red is owned by the Homeowners Association called Green Leah 2 Homeowners Association Incorporated. But state records show that HOA hasn't existed since 2008. Not really getting any sort of answers. Just kind of maybe you should just fix it yourself is kind of the basic response I'm getting at this point. The city won't fix the potholes. They aren't allowed to use road dollars on private property. The city says this is a rare issue, but they say they legally can't do anything about it. So what's left for the residents in the neighborhood to do? We went to the Tanner Law Group. They specialize in HOA-related issues. Just because it's administratively dissolved does not mean the association ceases to exist. Those documents, the covenants still run with the property. David says the covenant still exists and still stands, even though the old association doesn't exist. He says the only thing the community can do is restart the HOA. The board can decide to be self-managed and uh, you know make decisions on their own. They could retain a property management company who will collect assessments for them, or they can petition a court for a receiver who will come in and kind of get the association back on track. So what happens next? It would really be up to the homeowners in this area, but for now they'll have to deal with these potholes on the road. On the south side, Paris LaBelle, RTV6.